black cake, pepper pot, ginger beer. These delicacies aren't just about taste. They're deeply woven into the cultural fabric of Guyana, representing warm, joy, and togetherness of the holiday season. As a nation blessed with diversity, Christmas in Guyana brings out the best in all of us, and the colors and lights that sparkle in the trees are a true reflection of our celebrated Komeni Mountain, as this is the best time of the year. As Guyanese, there are many traditions that lead up to Christmas Day, such as cleaning, which is done to welcome the new year, and baking lots of delicious goodies. Reflecting on her younger days, Omiti Lili describes her Christmas celebrations. Back in our little days, my parents was not all of that wealthy that we could even have gifts, like dolls to play with and stuff. And my parents then bake cake, they make ginger beer, and they cook dal and rice and chicken curry because at that time we never know about chow mein and fried rice and pepper pot like now the people make pepper pot. At the time when we know ourselves it was mud road, we had candlelight, jujugam they call it, flambo. We had that and then afterward we get light and we get road but not good road like we have now. Now we have nice road because at that time they used to say more dam and jog jog lamp. But today we have pitch road and we have the electric light that we can put up fairy lights and we can dress our Christmas tree and be more happy at now as the old people pass away, the young people get by now this time buy their own thing and dress the trees and so nice and dress their own nice. We clean the house, if we need to paint, we paint the house, put up our nice curtain, put up our nice decoration, get our Christmas tree going, going all the time with nice fairy lights. Well, my grandson and my daughter-in-law did that. I wasn't much in that part, they do it. I don't really like dress Christmas tree. They like to do that. I like to put on a nice curtain, nice mat, and clean the house. And to bake and cook. We have pepper pot and bread in the morning. And then we will do some like lunch. We will do a little bit of chow mein, a little bit of fried rice, a little bit of fried chicken, or if not, we bake a chicken. that abroad we wish them Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Stephen Jacobs tell us his must-have for this Christmas season. He describes Christmas as the best time. Christmas, it's, it's, it's a family time in Guyana. And I must say it's the best time. For me as a kid, while I was growing up, um, I remember vividly um, the house uh, breaking, as we would say, for about three weeks before Christmas. And then uh, just before, it's, you know, just before that clock strikes um, <laughs> to be Christmas Day, then the final curtain, curtain or even the curtain rod will be up. So, you know, Christmas for me as a kid, it was uh, very exciting seeing my mom pack away the house, uh, the smell of the pepper pot, um, the fruit cake, the black cake. And now I must say, uh, the tradition remains the same for everyone. But for me, being the, um, the, the father now and the parent now, I try to make preparations a bit early. And you know, you can actually see that uh, my, my Christmas tree is up, but the cooking, we always keep that for last. Christmas morning is usually relaxing, but what we do at about um, 12, 
when it um, the clock strikes for Christmas Day, I usually open presents with my um, with my wife and my children. I pride myself on that on that that every Christmas morning I am home with them, opening presents because I love to see that smile on their faces. You know, having them in that suspense for for about a month. Telling them what you know they get something really big for Christmas and seeing that joy when they open the present, it warms my heart. And that and, and then Christmas morning we just tend to relax, uh, uh, stay in our PJs, watch Home Alone movie, and then prepare for a beautiful Christmas lunch. delicious food, the lights and decor, Christmas in Guyana encapsulates a legacy of unity, joy and cherished memories among families and communities. 